well guys it is uh sunday december 26th and we are still pregnant i'm walking jordan he's in there walking him we've been walking for 20 minutes now about to go in the house we're trying to take like really big steps you know get the baby in there but um, i don't know if it's gonna work or not we will see i really hope it does it's a little more pressure but i think this might be because i out of breath let's go in the house eat something probably go to the store get some pineapple and see if that'll help me out. I had a, a bowl of pineapple the other day and can you open the trunk? I had some pineapple the other day and that's when my mucus bug came out like the next morning. So I hope that will trigger something. <laughs> I just want to meet my baby girl so bad, you guys. <laughs> Look at my face. My face always does this when I get pregnant. Does this happen to you guys? Oh, okay, bye. What are you doing, bro? I bet you people are looking at her crazy right now. You see that too? Yeah. Hit me, I'm gonna get that insurance check. Oh. Yeah, get up in there. It hurt. Doing these step ups on the curb. Don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to get this baby out. Um, today is December 30th, 29th. 29th. Today is December 29th. I've been checked in with you guys in a couple of days. Um, what? What did I do yesterday? No. We didn't do anything. Didn't get to walk. Oh, I'm out of breath. Get to the steps. Oh, it's hot. I'm tired. It's actually hot and cold. Hot and cold. Uh, oh, hi. Go high. Go high. You know what? I'm gonna talk Go after. High. I'm gonna talk after I do this. No. Talk yes. now. I'm out of breath. They need to see this. They need to see you getting You're down. You're abusing me. No, I'm not. Dude, you're not stepping good enough. Step. Yeah. You need to. I'm going to kill him. It's going to happen, you guys. Step. You're tripping. Step. Get that pelvic bone nice and stretched. There you go. Up. I can't stand there. There you go. Hi. Yeah. Bring the I'm woman done. out of you. My thighs, just a bee on the floor, is dying. Okay, so since I ch last checked in with you guys, um, I think I was just coming from a walk, actually. That night, what did we do? I had some pineapple. Um, I went to the store, got like a bowl of cut up pineapple, ate that, then I did some ball exercises. Um, then I did that. I've been doing that every day, actually. Been eating pineapple every day. <clears throat> been eating pineapple every day. Um, we've been doing it. That's Go been on. working out. Doing what? I don't say those words on my channel. Sex? <laughs> Anyways, so last night and this morning, 
you on Sesame Street? Like, I had that? contractions all through the night. I'll insert my um, contraction type of thing on my baby center app. And the night before, same thing. Still pregnant, no baby. So I'll go home. Let's go to this doctor's appointment, freshen up a little bit, and then go. Oh, also eat something because I'm hungry. And uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully they'll be like, oh, you know what? We're just going to induce you right now. Yes. Do that. Do that. Because uh, I don't think I can make it to January 1st or past that day at all. I'm tired. Look at this. Cool. This double chin action. This puffy face. I'm done. I still love you, bro. Thanks, I love you too. But I'm done. So I'll catch you guys when I'm at my appointment. Okay guys, so I'm at my appointment for my non-stress test. I got the stuff hooked up, little monitors. And I just took my blood pressure. And that's what it is. It's just 145 over something. That's bad. I'm pretty sure that's bad. And then my the fluid around the baby is low and um she asked me if i was like leaking fluid and i was like well i'm not sure because like sometimes when i get off my exercise ball it's wet so i don't know and it's just 145 mm -hmm. that's bad isn't it say it again the blood pressure uh -huh. it's not horrible oh okay no because normally it's like lower than that yeah we were talking when i hit the button and stuff so we're okay gonna, we're gonna we'll do a few okay. Congratulations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you like get my purse off the floor? Thank you. I love you so much. I wonder if you see it. So yeah, I'm not sure, but um I'll come back with a report in a second. All right, so we, um, I don't remember where I left off at, honestly, you guys, I'm so sorry, but um, we are leaving our house right now, and we packed the bags, got the car seat in the car, all that good stuff, um, got our labor and delivery shirts, it's labor and delivery day, it's a little feet, I made these shirts with my Cricut. And now we're going to go back to the hospital to get checked in so they can see if I've been leaking amniotic fluid this whole time. And hopefully they'll just keep us, like, <laughs> just keep me so we can have the baby. And, um, <laughs> see, got a labor and delivery shirt on. And, um, yeah, we're headed back to the hospital right now to get checked in. And that's so funny because I said we would probably be there, be there by 4.30. And it looks like that's what's happening. Because for whatever reason, it took us forever to say goodbye to the kids and get back out the house. Such, we had to get everybody situated. Yeah, we did have to get everybody situated. For whatever reason, I don't know why we didn't think that something wasn't going to go go down today. And it's like the perfect opportunity for something to go down today because Carlos is a great mom. And his sister are in town. So it's only right that God would set this up like this. So we have somebody at the house to keep all four of our kids. Like, that's awesome. Because they're all at home right now. And, um. God, but we put it in his hands. Yeah. We honestly really didn't have, like, any other options at this moment in time. So. It really, God is good. God is good. When you guys are in doubt, just pray. Just pray. And then let it go. Pray, let it go. And just know everything's going to work out. So, um, I'm going to get off this phone and check back in with you guys when I'm in the, uh, what's it called? Triage. And. The triage. The triage. <laughs> Catch you in another week. So many families make virtual visits to the 
But this year, Santa's coming back to town. But how will Santa stay safe and not deliver COVID along with it? Well, y'all, it is um, 9.50 now, and it has been a crazy, 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 crazy past few hours. So, first off, excuse me, we come to the hospital to get checked in, as you guys know, and um, they're like, you can go in, me. But he, my husband, <laughs> cannot because he either has to be vaccinated, fully vaccinated or have a negative test results within the last three days. Now, yesterday when they called me trying to schedule my C-section in case um, I don't have a successful VBAC, <clears throat> I asked them, will he need a COVID test? The woman specifically told me no, only I needed one. So... Imagine how upset I was when I got that information. So, Carlos was also disappointed. Um, he went to like six, seven different places to find a rapid COVID test and to, you know, do the take home kit. Um, mind you, it's holidays, everybody out there, um, it's, it's a COVID outbreak, all that right now. And there was none none in the stores completely sold out everywhere and crazy so um i came in to see if we were to see if i was leaking amniotic fluid and um so I, I was like can you guys just let me know if i'm leaking or not i'm thinking that you find out through the the pee sample but you didn't i'll get to that later um so i um, I'm talking to the nurse and she's like, um, let me call and find out for you. Cause I'm like, I'm not about to have this baby here. If my husband can't be with me, if you, you guys fail to give me the, the correct information, you know, all the nurses in this building or everybody who works here needs to be on the same page, period. So, um, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. Um, so I, um, what was I? Oh my gosh. I'm so tired of my train of thought. Um, think, 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 where was I? Um, so yeah, I'm talking to the nurse and I'm telling her like the situation and she's like, oh no, I totally understand. And, um, she, and then she goes, she's like, uh, another patient actually put out like a Facebook blast and was like, does anyone have a spare uh, COVID, COVID test that um, she could have? And I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. Um, Cause you know, people stock up on stuff that they don't necessarily need, but it's cool, whatever. Um, so I called one of my cousins and she works at, um, she works at a hospital and she's like the health guru in the family. Like I go to, go to her for everything for the health reasons you know <laughs> and so I called her I'm like do you have an extra COVID test or whatever if you're watching this Shay I love you so much you're the best Pepper I love you too um so yeah hold on Oh, okay. It wasn't for me. I thought somebody was coming. So yeah, I yeah. called her and she's like, um, no, I don't, but let me call yeah. around and see who it is. And so it turns out my cousin's, um, my cousin's girlfriend had one. So it's a true blessing. So many things have happened today within a short amount of time. It's so insane. It's so, so insane. So, um, but it all worked out. I actually had to pause. I don't know where I left off at, but um, end of the story. Carlos got the home test. Uh, he went, picked it up, came back, did the test, got in, and um, 
while he's doing his thing, I'm in here in the um, in the hospital. I had to wait because I guess they can only take um, like four patients at a time or something like that. And so it was four pregnant women inside of the uh, waiting room. I don't know what their situation was, but yeah, I don't know what their situations were. So um, um, they called three of us at the same time to go back after waiting for like, I would say an hour maybe maybe a little longer um so we finally went back to triage got all checked in and the nurse i'm telling the nurse what's going on um that i got sent over from my doctor's appointment um and the uh the baby's food was low a little bit and um and I, I thought that I was leaking amniotic fluid. It turns out I wasn't leaking any am, a, amniotic fluid. But the baby was running out of, um, was running out of fluid. And my blood pressure has um, been high. It was been high all day. Like every time they took it, it was high. Um, it was like in the one, I think it was one forty-seven plus um, before. And then, like, when I got here, it was, like, in the 160s. So, it was bad. It's really bad. And, um, so, because of that, we're having a C-section. So, I'm not able to do the V-back like I wanted to, which is perfectly fine because at this point, you know, we just want a healthy baby. We just want to get the baby out and have a healthy baby. So... I just want a healthy baby and um, I'll do put a little bit of makeup on to my eyebrows and um, get ready to meet our daughter. But I say it's now it's 10 03 and our C section is going to be at 10 30. So we'll see you guys when we have a baby. So excited! Can't wait to meet her and hold her and uh. Of course, well, Carlos will hold it first. He was right about that too. He said that to me a few days ago. Uh, he said that a few days ago to me that he was gonna hold the baby first. And I was like, no, I am because I'm gonna do the VBAC. No, God had other plans, clearly. So, which is fine, I'm all down for it. I'm just so happy it's almost over and um, Having a C-section is hard, but thankfully I've been through it before, so I kind of know what to expect. And um, I'm just feeling really thankful, blessed, and very relieved. Very, very relieved. So, yeah. How do you feel, Daddy? Hmm? How do you feel? Better. You feel better. How was it going through all that, all the drama? Hmm. <laughs> trash. That's what he said. He said it was trash. <laughs> too much. It was too much. Those muchos. I felt like the proposal all over again. Oh my gosh. They don't even know about that story. This is we'll, just as well. We'll have to do a story time on our family channel about the proposal. I felt like the proposal all over again. Not in the essence of uh, me proposing, but just like the, oh, the, the hectic drama, huh? and, and the drama yeah. that came along with uh, just absolutely no reason why. <laughs> so funny. They told us no COVID test. Yeah. When we get to the dome, no, there's a COVID test somewhere else. Man. Straight would have been having this baby at home if um, if we weren't gonna be able to find anything. No, you didn't have no baby at home. No, <laughs> I die. I I don't think I'm that strong. My medical degree, and I haven't gotten that. Shout high out yet. to all the women who be having their babies at home and doing it by themselves. Y'all some real ones. Y'all the real MVPs. No one can top you. <laughs> I get my medical license in like two weeks. Stop it. Got gotcha. y'all. We're out. We're out. We're done with them. Alright, this is time. We're about to go back here and make some baby magic happen.
the ring. And it's coming.
сделали. Ну, за уйдем. section went really good. It went way better than the first time I got a C-section. We're trying to um, have to do a whole video just on the C-section below. And I um, have a baby right here. Feeding in the football magic. Uh-oh. Uh oh, hold on. Okay, baby. Yeah, so, um, uh, I think she's done. Mm -hmm. She's so funny, I don't think she's done either. Um, the C section went really good. It went really, really good, way like, better than I expected. I'm just really sleepy still from the anesthesiologist, anesthesia, I mean. Ooh. And, um, I have uh, this really sharp pain in my shoulder. The nurse told me it's from having gas. So, um, that sucks. It hurts really bad. But she did just give me, like, a some type of chewy tablet that'll help with the gas. Um, so I hope it hurts helps really quickly because I am it hurts and um they took my nurse took my catheter out earlier my nurse took the um catheter out earlier and trying to go uh, Trying to get to the bathroom has been a struggle right now. Just so happy. <laughs> I don't look happy, I know I look like a girl, you look tired. I am tired, I'm super tired, I'm exhausted. Um, last night's feeding was really good. She was born at 1206, so, you know, it hasn't even been 24 hours yet. I'm still living in the first three hours. <laughs> it's been a good time, a good amount of time. So, um, <laughs> I'm just literally talking to you guys, like falling asleep. Let me get off of this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
course of the next couple of weeks, you will notice that there's some flaking off going on. Mm -hmm. That's normal, just uh, the, the flu coming off. Okay. Um, are you allergic to any medicines? No. I'm ready to send a prescription for you for Ibuprofen. Isn't that scrumptious? Looks good, huh? Yeah. I'm sleepy. You sleepy? Can you, uh, get, get Zoe situated? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, well, we're about to leave the hospital and uh, go home. Uh, they didn't want us to like really leave, but I feel fine to go. Like this ain't my first rodeo. So I know what to look for and for myself and the baby if anything's wrong. And um, <clears throat> I'm really just ready to go home and be with our kids and enjoy the new year at home and not in the hospital. So we're gonna leave and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of like all over the place because it was really all over the place. We didn't even expect to have the baby yesterday, but we really should have, but we really didn't know that we were gonna have to have the baby yesterday and then go through X, Y, and Z. So, um, yeah, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. It's family, Lord, and guiding us through this in your way, Lord. And and you, you, in your way, you made it possible when there was no way, oh Lord. And we want to say thank you just for bringing all the kids and we're able to be here today, Lord. And, and to praise your name, we want to say thank you for the new life that has come from this hospital visit, Lord. We want to say thank you for bringing us Zoe, Lord. And, and may she, she have a healthy and long life, Lord. And we just say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's go home. Let's go home.